Hey guys, Pastor Eddie here with your men and coffee this morning. You know what? Billy's going to help me out here. I got into a conversation on Facebook with a person that um, was basically saying that, you know, um, you know, I looked at a post of of Nancy Pelosi and, and her pens, her $1,500, $15,000 worth of pens that she handed out to constituents when she signed the impeachment papers for the president. And I thought to myself, well, you know, that's their prerogative. They can do whatever they want to do. They're, they're human. They want to give away pens. That's cool. But then I said, you know what? I said, it's shameful that they're using taxpayer money to do this. And immediately some person jumped right in and was basically saying, well, you know, the president has stolen thousands of dollars from the taxpayers. And I said, how is that? He goes, greedy. He's not greedy. I said, he donates his salary. He doesn't even take a salary for the office of president. I've never seen a president before him that's ever done that and donated his salary. And the reason why he's not greedy is because he has money. He owns hotels, he owns golf courses. And that's another thing he said, well, he goes out and he plays golf. You know what? I don't remember any other president that played more golf than Obama. And he would use Air Force One in order to go to all these golf courses and play. And I'm sure that Obama never had to pay for a round of golf. Just like I know, President Trump doesn't have to pay for a round of golf because number one, he owns the golf course. <laughs> he doesn't have to pay for the room because he owns the hotel. You see, that's capitalism. That's not a bad thing. It's not an evil thing. And he's anything but greedy. Let's look at what greedy is. Greedy is you, you take people for their money in order to become rich without doing anything for it. You know, it sounds like a lot of politicians today. You know, Nancy Pelosi is a millionaire. Shift is a millionaire. Schumer's a millionaire. Why? Because they're career politicians who use their office in order to make money and basically take it from you, the taxpayer. I don't see them giving anything back. I don't see, especially look at, look at Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Maxine Waters. California is a disaster with homeless. And they don't do nothing about it. Matter of fact, I don't see any local governments, any, you know, city councils or or mayors that are trying to help the governor of California sure ain't helping. Why? Because they're greedy. They want to keep all the money for themselves. You know what? Gavin Newsom was given this the state of California was given thousands of dollars to help the, the homeless. And you know what he did with it? He put it in a bank account so it'll earn interest. And just now he's saying, well, we got this money that we can use for homeless. You've had the money. You've been collecting interest on it while people go hungry on the streets and have to defecate on our streets. That's greedy. That's what the Bible warns against. He says that people like that, they're not going to see heaven. I, I, I truly believe I'm not going to see... Pelosi, I'm not going to see Waters, I'm not going to see Schiff, I'm not going to see Schumer, I'm not going to see uh, Nadler, I'm not going to see Newsom, I'm not going to see any of the other, like we have so many people that are greedy in California, I bet you I don't see a bunch of them in heaven, because God says in his word in the New Testament that greedy, you know, the people that are covetousness, it's a sin, and if you have sin in your life, you're not going to heaven. God doesn't want you to be a sinful person. He wants you to be benevolent. He wants you to give. I mean, look at President Trump. He takes his paycheck and gives it to government programs that maybe need a little boost, a little help. He also thinks about you and I. He makes sure that if you're a senior citizen, that there's avenues for you to get a job if you want to work. He makes sure that this past three years are the first three years that we on disability and social security have actually gotten a raise. Before that, we went eight years with zero raises from the Obama administration. Zero raises. And that's our livelihood. That's what we live on. As it is, you know, this ministry, we don't take money from anybody. We use my disability, we use my pension to pay for everything that we do. And that includes if we buy a meal for somebody. You see, 
People don't send me money. I don't ask for tithing or offerings. Why? Because that's my conviction. God has blessed me with some money, not a lot, but with some, and I'm able to give it out as needed, and I'm able to fund and finance the ministry because that's what God told me to do through Paul the Apostle. He said that you've seen the toil of our hands day and night so that we would not become a burden because we could have made demands upon you as apostles. I paraphrase that, so don't take it as gospel, but you can look it up. It's in the New Testament. It's in the writings of Paul. You see, I don't take a tithe. You don't have to pay for this pastor to give you the word of God. Freely I've been given, freely I'm gonna give it because I'm not greedy. You know, President Trump is one man, one man that I know, he has probably worked the hardest as our president than any other president. You know, how often do you see him taking trips to the Winter White House to take some time off with his family? Maybe holidays, but the rest of the time he's at work. Even when at Christmas time, when the Senate and the Congress took off for their break, our president and our vice president and his, and his staff were at work. They were in the White House working for our benefits. Does that sound greedy to you? No, that sounds benevolent. That sounds like somebody who really cares for the American people. So if you think you're going to get away with greed and you think, oh, well, I'll just get into city council or I'll become a mayor or I'll become a congressman or I'll become a senator because I know they make money. You know, I had a young man who was at our church that we started in the Inland Empire, a matter of fact, in the Temes Temecula Valley. And he came to me one day and he says, I'm going to Bible college. Well, that's great. Hallelujah. And he said, I want to become a pastor. Well, that's cool. Are you called? Well, he couldn't answer that. But I said, why do you want to, why do you want to go to seminary? Why do you want to be a pastor? He goes, because you guys make a lot of money. I just had to laugh. I said, if you think I make a lot of money, you're right. You are absolutely right. I make six figures a year. The first zero is real big and all the zeros after that are little. But I make six figures, a whole lot of nothing. But what I do have, I give. And I give to those who do not have. You see, you don't need socialism in order to make things work. All you need is the love of Christ in your heart and the benevolence of His grace in order to give out to those who are in need. Today, family, don't be confused by what people tell you. Don't be confused by the narrative of the people that are in, in Congress that tell you, oh, you know, this is bad. He's bad. He's not bad. He's the best president we've ever had because I see in him the glory of my king. I know he's saved. I know he's a Christian. And that's more than I could say for all the others that were in office especially the ones who are serving in Congress. I can see the Christians and I can see the heathens. So today, family, be godly. Be like Christ. That's what you are, you're little Christs. So love one another. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind. And then give out of the abundance of what you have. It may not be much, but neither was a widow's might, but she gave everything she had to God. Today, family, don't be greedy. And don't think that you're saying that other people are greedy just because they have money. You know, our president needs money like he needs a hole in the head because he has plenty of cash. And he gave all of that up, all of his holdings, all of his, all of his hotels and, and, and golf courses, and let his children run the business so he can collect a salary that he gives away in the presidency. And you know why? Because he gets everything. They give him three meals a day. He's got a house to live in. What more does he need? He just needs to be taken care of and taking care of the people who elected him. He's a president of we the people and he's the best one we've ever had. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. We pray for our president and all of our leaders in authority over us that you would move in their hearts lord and change them and make them look to you the author and finisher of their faith may they not fall by the wayside and die not knowing you linda and i love you pastor tony and i are praying for you may you have a blessed day and we'll talk to you real soon what do you think billy
She said, oh, you get good. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye.